Hey guys, welcome back. I'm going again with that gold, silver and black. Uh, hopefully you saw the last video and you will have seen that. I think it was a little bit still on the thin side. And I didn't get much gold. So I've got two cups of gold this time. My colours are, and the brand, I'm using Sargent's Metallics. That's the silver liquid metal. And then the gold is acrylic metallic. I think they're both the same though. I don't know why they've got different labels. But anyway, that's what I'm using. Gold and silver. And then the black is Artist Loft Black. And my pouring medium is my 60% glue, 40% water. And I've mixed the black um, almost one to one, made it a little bit thicker. Just because it's the paint's quite thin. The silver, I actually had to make that quite thick. The silver's two parts paint to one part pouring medium. And the gold, oh, you still feel thinner, don't you? The gold I did one and a half parts paint to one part pouring medium. Add an extra blob of gold to that one. I'm just going to do the same here. It's probably more like, yeah, one and a half. Whoops, there we go. See how it runs out? It's quite a thin paint. It really is. So you I'm trying to thicken it up. Because the video before this one, when I flipped my cups over, I got cells straight away. And I don't really like that because then they get overstretched when I'm trying to cover the whole canvas before I torch. So... We'll see. It still feels thinner than the silver. How about you? You feel thicker. All right, a little bit more. It's getting close to it's probably one and three quarters paint to one part pouring medium. Um, yeah, thicker than the last one. This one's two two parts paint. The gold's one and a half. Uh, one probably one and three quarters part paint to one part pouring medium. The black's more like a one-to-one. -one. I know it's confusing, isn't it? But I'm just trying to get them all to the same consistency because some colours, even though they're the same brand, whoops, I'm splodging, even though they're the same brand, they still act differently and they, you have to, it doesn't matter what brand or colour that you're using, you just have to go with the consistency, not necessarily the, um, the ratio. So just remember that. The black's a bit thick again. I think it tends to thicken up as it's sitting here. So I made the black first, then I mixed the metallics, and then I got my paint, my canvas ready, and my push bins in, and so it's been sitting a while. I'll just thin that out. Just a touch. So the last painting I did is the smaller canvas. This one's bigger. This one's a 30 by 40 centimeter, 12 by 16 inch. And because the last one I just had two cups and I flipped them that way. This time I'm going to do the flip and drags. Um, I need some cups. Might be useful. I won't oil them. We'll just get straight onto it. I don't want too many, too many cells. Um, now they're big cups. Let's put six drops in each. One, two, three, four, five, six. Don't put them all in together. Spread them around. Two, three, four, five. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Comes out pretty quick. You don't need to squeeze your bottle. Comes out really quick. All right. Let's give this a good stir. You can. This is where you can fast forward now if you don't want to watch me stir silicone. It's a, it's a big full cup, so I need to get the oil right down to the bottom. So if you're in a bit of a hurry, I guess now's a good time to fast forward. You're not going to miss anything. Whoa, oh my gosh. I'm just, I shouldn't have made them so full. Get back in there. It is like liquid gold. Look at that. It's such a gorgeous, gorgeous paint. So I was just going to use the same 
size canvas and the same cups. But then I thought, oh, hopefully it's gonna be really pretty. Let's go to a bigger canvas. And then I thought, well, I'm gonna need an extra cup of paint. <laughs> And then I thought, because I've got extra gold, I'm going to need a little bit more silver and a little bit more black. So then I filled up my cups and, well, you can see <laughs> what happened then. There's a story to why my cups are so full. Oh, splurging again. And I'm trying to hurry, you know. I know you guys are all busy. Things to do, places to go, people to meet. Hopefully where you are, your isolation restrictions are being eased a little bit. They are here in Australia. We're able to go out shopping and do all kinds of things now. Getting much closer to what we used to do. Just pour some gold in the bottom. Now, I still need to do just a little bit of black in between my metallics. I don't know that that's a good idea because see I'm only getting gold uh, black on a half of it maybe I'll go back to this I <laughs> spread my black out no that's not gonna work okay now the silver Actually, maybe I can just pour the silver No, still not going to work. I'm just going to have to do my usual drizzle, I think, to get a good covering. Because on that last painting, um, I got a lot of silver cells because they didn't have any black on them. So I just got silver cells and I thought, oh, it's because I haven't got enough black. But it's because I was, the way I was pouring, I didn't have enough black covering my um, my silver so this is going to give me good coverage hopefully and the reason I'm doing two golds because last time it was a very silver painting and I was sort of scratching my head thinking about it and I thought well black and silver together are going to make grey anyway and that's why, I think that's why I got such a, a grey look. I didn't get that much gold. I think. So we'll see if I get more gold this time. Hopefully I've got enough black to go between my layers. Otherwise I might have to make up a little bit more. Oops, this is the last of the silver, by the looks of it. So I'm on, back on the roster at work from next week, which is I'm happy about and sad about at the same time because I've really enjoyed having my time off. It's like being on long service leave. But I do need to go back. A little bit more black. I think I will have to make up just a smidge more black. Just so that I can have it between my next two layers of gold. Maybe. It's got a lot of gold left. Look at that, I've still got half a cup of gold left. Maybe I can use it for something else, hey? Would like to put some black just on top of that, so... Let me just make up some more. Put that there. And zero it. Zero it. 
doesn't want a zero? Come on, there we go. Um, let's just do 30, one ounce. And uh, this will be just a little bit more, say 35 maybe. See how it runs out? Much thinner than the, um, the Montmartre paint. Definitely a lot thinner than something like Liquitex Basics, which is probably the thickest of the paints that I use. I don't use them a lot. Um, a, because they're expensive, and B, it's really hard just to get the right consistency. I actually don't like the cells I get from the flip cup pores using them. I really don't. I don't know why. Okay, let's just finish. Oh, I better put a couple of drops of silicone in there, haven't I? Just a couple. Give it a stir. Okay, here we go. And I'm going to do another layer of gold just because I've got it. Okay, a little bit, a little bit of gold, a little bit of black left over if I want to do something else with it. Lots of paint. Okay, how pretty do they look? Okay, now I'm going to do a flip and drag, so I'll put them all up here. Ooh. Now my tripod is just on the table. <laughs> it's about this far away from the canvas, so every time I bang the table, the um, tripod moves. Get your cups up as close as you can to the top there. Makes it easier to cover the, the surface. Little cells popping through. Um, I thought I'd try something different actually. I don't know if it'll work or not, but I'm gonna take the tripod down on the side and I'm gonna see if I can slow motion the, um, the flip and drag. What do you reckon? <laughs> I'm gonna give it a go. Bear with me. How was that? Did that work? <laughs> Slow motion. So I've still got some cells popping up. Oh, they are amazing cells. It's just a shame that I'm going to lose them. Let me pop you back up on the table. Okay, well, that was a bit of a major effort doing all that, but hopefully it would have been worth it. You might have <laughs> seen a little bit of a different view there, hey? Now I'm going to get straight to tilting. Oh my gosh, look at the gold. Loving that. So happy I decided to do the two cups of gold. I'm going to use my corner catcher. These three blobs on the bottom, they have to go. Now that's why I don't alternate because I can just tip off that whole bottom side. You know, I don't have one cup here, one cup there, one cup there. It's because of that. Um, and I, I know I can just tip that right off which I think I'm going to do right here. Mm. 
trying to not lose too much paint off the edge there. There we go. It's best using a corner catcher. It really is. Much better result. Whoops. Whoa. Pushpin got caught on this. Okay. Look at that gold, you guys. Much better with two dots of gold. Right, let's torch. Oh, almost don't need to, hey. How about I just do just a very light, because I almost don't need to. Am I getting anything in? Whoa, there's a few. So thicker this time, so that not getting as many cells up. The paint's a lot thicker. Almost don't need to really get any more cells. There's a lot of gold there that might have to go off. So I'm not really getting any colour underneath it. Just trying to get just a really light little sprinkling of, of cells between these big cells that I've already got just so it doesn't look too odd. Okay, there we go. Right, there's a lot of bubbles. So as you can see, I'm not getting close enough to pop bubbles. If you're getting close enough to pop your bubbles, you're probably too close. So back it up. Now I want to get some of this off here. It's not there's just gold on gold there. All right, let's walk, as we always do. Walk. Now we'll push some of that off as we walk down there. I need to, see I can't keep all this paint. But the whole idea of having extra paint is that I can tip it off like that, you know, and walk it. Actually, probably a little bit too much paint because I'm getting this that's okay. Um, maybe, uh, actually, maybe I'll get some more of that off just to straighten that up a bit. Just a little bit of it. It's a bit busy. There we go. I'm able to open up my middle cells a little bit. What do you think? Whoa! Wow! Look at all that gold! My gosh, this is so much better than the first one. I've got little clusters of of cells, you know, where I've torched, and I've just sprung up. I only want a few over here, just to balance that. A few more little ones here and there. You can see they're popping up now. They take a little while to pop. Oh, see that? Yeah, they take a while. So, mm, I want a few in there. I'm chickening in there. Ah, there we go. Just a couple <laughs> little dotty ones. So, you can torch again afterwards, but just be really careful because um, you might overdo it and have too many cells. So these, oh, it's quite busy there now. But I like those. I had a lot of black there. So now I'm just going to move them around a little bit. I don't know how I feel about that. I always get that. <clears throat> I mean, I got one there as well, but it's bigger. That there. But I like the gold in it. Actually, just going to see if I can get a little bit more off that corner just there. Just like that. Well, it's a lot of paint on my puppy pedal pad, isn't it? But yes, you do need to have that extra paint. To be able to tip over the edges 
and still keep your cells. If you don't have that extra paint, you're just going to overstretch everything, really. I've learnt the hard way with that. You have to have the extra paint. You really do. Love this half. This half, not so much, but that half is just amazeballs. Look at that. I don't know, this one's not quite as um, in contrast as that. Now, I can't, this middle cup is kind of doing that, and I can't really stretch it out any further. So I'm just going to leave it. So just remember the rule, the 70-30 rule. If you're 70% happy with it and 30% unhappy with it, just leave it alone because you could start playing with it and tilting it and stretching it and then you'll think, oh my gosh, I wish I hadn't have done that. Now I'm only 30% happy with it and 70% unhappy with it. So um, I don't think... Well, from me anyway, I don't think I can ever be 100% happy because I look at it and go, oh, I don't like that cell or well, there's a caterpillar in there. And, you know, there's always, for me, there's always something that I don't like, but it's just fluid art, you know. It's just like that. You can't not have little issues, I think. That's my thoughts on it anyway, so... You know, be kind to yourself. Love your work. We're all at different levels and different stages. I've been pouring pretty much every day for the last three and a half years. It took me a very long time to learn how to get pretty cells. I'm just going to fold that over so that it's not looking too bad when I take you down for a close-up, hey? Because it can look a bit messy. sides of my painting stick it down into the paint <laughs> there we go all right let me get my gloves off let me take you down oh i didn't have my bright light on for that hmm. that's right because i no, i turned it off i think i turned it off when i did my um my flipping drags okay so it's looking a little bit brown through the screen it's it's not it's it's gold oh my gosh look at these cells you guys they are amazing if I do say so myself just amazing you can see the gold shimmering there I'll go for a slow little pan up here and you can see that I've got the black rings around the cells or gold and then black on the inside. That's because I layered the paints differently this time. You know, I sort of did that drizzle on top and sort of covered them there. I don't know what's going on there. That might be, that's probably that area where the black didn't go across the silver. You know, I just did a little puddle of it and poured it down the side. So, yeah, no contrast there with the black. A little bit up there. But those are just silver and gold mixed together. You really needed to have the, um, the black between them for the contrast. So there, really happy with that one. Much prettier than the other one. Um, I just I can't get the correct colour for you. I'm sorry. It's just it's just showing more of a a brownish tone. But yeah, it it's really really shiny gold. All right, I'm gonna love you and leave you. I've resined two sets of coasters and placemats today, and done two silver and gold. And black paws. Now I'm going to go make a cuppa and sit with my doggies and watch a movie. And then I have to go back to work tomorrow. Oh my gosh. All right. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Really appreciate all your love and support. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you can um, be notified every time I put up a video.
All right. Thanks again, you guys. Bye for now.